Hey everyone, welcome back, and what you are looking at right now is Neatcode.io, a site that I just created to help you prepare for your coding interviews in a much better and more efficient way, which is so important because we know we all have a very limited amount of time. So before I get into what this site is all about and how you can use it to prepare for your interviews, let me just tell you a bit about my background. I started my YouTube channel in summer of 2020 towards the beginning of the pandemic. I was unemployed and I had nothing better to do, so I thought I would explain leak code and algorithm style interview questions on YouTube. After a while of doing this, I started getting a ton of messages from people all over the world telling me that my videos had helped them get jobs at Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, and a ton of other companies. And I still get messages like this every day. And during last year, I finally escaped unemployment and ended up getting a job at Google. And I would like to share many of my learnings with you. As you can imagine, the roughly 300 leak code style questions that we've solved on the channel were definitely a factor. So that brings us to neatcode.io, which is an organized approach to data structures and algorithms. Now I've solved hundreds and hundreds of leak code style questions, which is what most people do when they're preparing for coding interviews. And the reason is after you've solved so many questions, you will automatically start to learn a lot of the underlying patterns that come up in these types of questions. But you don't have to solve hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions to do that. If you start by learning patterns from the start, it will make your journey that much easier. What I mean is instead of just solving a random list of questions and then hoping by the end of it you understand what trees are, what heaps are, what graphs are, why not learn the pattern itself? For example, to get a better understanding of heaps, you should solve a bunch of heap questions grouped together from easiest to hardest. You might not be able to solve a hard heap problem right away, but I bet if you started with a few easy questions, worked your way through a few meetings, mediums, then by the time you got to the hard question, you probably would find it a lot easier than if you had just skipped to the hard one from the start. And for each pattern that you learn, you should also learn it in a systematic way, which is why I've loosely ordered all the patterns in this list by easiest to hardest. For example, graphs are typically harder than tree questions. Tree questions are typically harder than linked list questions. But I've also kind of prioritized these patterns based on how important they are. For example, bit manipulation is probably not harder than dynamic programming, but it's generally less important, which is why bit manipulation has gone towards the end of the list. So if you're the type of person who always wonders what order should I solve problems in, Neatcode.io is designed to solve that problem. What I would recommend personally is you start at the first topic, solve the easy questions of that pattern, go to the second pattern, solve the easy questions, go to the third pattern, solve the easy questions, continue doing that until you've gone through all the patterns and then start back at the beginning and do the same thing for medium questions of each pattern. And then when you're done with that, go ahead and do the same thing for all the hard questions of the pattern. Now, of course, you don't have to do it that way at all. You could solve all the problems from each given pattern that you want to, or you could even do it in any order that you want. This is meant to provide a little bit of organization, but you're completely free to do it however you would like. And by the way, one of the best features about neatcode.io is if you get stuck on a problem, I have a thorough video explanation for every single problem in this list. I also have my Python code for 99% of the problems in this list. I'm only missing one or two. And I have a Java solution for about 50% of them. The Java solution is provided by a viewer. And by the way, if you would like to contribute your solutions, you're very free to do so. You can see the GitHub link at the bottom. For now, I think I would like to prioritize Java, C++, and JavaScript, because I think those are the most common languages. But it would be pretty easy to add other languages as well. And another thing, you can see that there's actually two lists here. There's the blind 75 list, which is a famous list of 75 leak code questions, which is a pretty good list. But what I've tried to do is take that list and create an extension of it. So I added 75 more problems to make the list not only more beginner friendly, but also to make it more comprehensive. So if you wanna get your hands on this, 
and you want to know how much it's going to cost, well, only a thousand bucks. Just kidding, it's 100% completely free. If you would like to show support though, there is a link to my Patreon at the top right, but it's completely optional. I'm more than happy that this is even helpful for people at all. You don't have to pay at all. There's also links to my YouTube, my Discord community, and my Twitter as well if you care about that. I'm super excited to finally be launching Neatcode.io. If you think it would be helpful for anybody you know or any of your friends who are also preparing for coding interviews, please feel free to share it with them. And definitely let me know if you have any suggestions on how to improve this. I think this is going to be a huge game changer for people. And I think it's definitely one of the best free resources that's out there for coding interviews right now. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really supports the channel a lot. Consider checking out my Patreon if you would like to, and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.